Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. My name is Becky and this is Nicker Homestead. We are going to just hang out with me on a normal work day. I've just gotten up, showered. It is 644. Yes. And first thing I do is I have to let these stinkers out. But I want to get something out of the freezer first. I need to get a freezer meal out for dinner. I normally like to get freezer meals out um, over the weekend for the week, but I didn't get one. I didn't get enough out. So I just grabbed out a thing of teriyaki chicken and I'll make that tonight for dinner. So let's get the dogs out. There they go. I also need to go feed the chickens and make sure they have water for the day. Excuse the mess, those are cardboard boxes. My family saves me cardboard boxes so that I can use them for mulch. Look at all this beautiful color. I haven't been out here in like four days. It's been a busy week. Well, I've been out to take care of the chickens, but I haven't like been in the garden to really assess the situation to see how things are growing. All right, they are fed and ready to go. We are, Tibro, come. You guys, we don't have a fence in our house. And right after I finished filming that last bit, my dogs decided to run off. And so now I'm running down the neighborhood to go get them. There he is. Get over here. Hey, you. Unfortunately, this is not the first time they've done this. It's actually one of many times and they always run, come heel now. Down this road, this is usually know where they go, which is nice. Um, we really need to get an electric fence for them. And now my socks are soaked because I just ran through our grass, which we haven't cut in like three weeks. Now the neighbor's dogs are in my house. <laughs> Worst day to try to film a day in the life. Come here, Orbit. See, I have three dogs in my yard now that are not mine. And I have to go change because I'm soaking wet. Dogs are put away except for Gizmo. I'm out here getting Gizmo. And I just found a strawberry. That was a crazy morning. My neighbor's dogs are still hanging out in my yard. They actually were in my garage and I had to wait for them to... Oh, move. Move. Bye guys. Enjoy your day. I'm excited you guys are hanging out with me today. Oh, we've got some really big speed bumps there. We went... Wow, I look tired. I did have makeup on, but um, I think running and sweating and all that stuff just... You know. Oh well. I wear a bunch of stuff on. water you guys <laughs> what a morning to have you guys come along with me usually my mornings are actually pretty boring so um if you're wondering what i'm eating for breakfast i mean pickles and cheese i don't normally eat pickles and cheese for breakfast either but that's all i could scrounge up this morning in the craziness so that's what we're having if you're new uh i'm a hygienist it'll be a good day i've got some good patients i already i go through my schedule the night before so i kind of already know like what my day is gonna look like so i'm gonna turn you off for a little bit i'm gonna kind of listen to my audiobook drive to work i'll see you back in a little bit so i just got to work i've got my backpack with my laptop on so i can sit and chat with you guys this afternoon on my lunch break i'll see you guys back in a few hours All right, it is 3.10 and I'm done with work. It was a good day. So first things first, when I get home from work, after work, I shower because I have to wash the off me, you know? So I am gonna shut you guys off while I finish driving home. It only takes me about 10 minutes to get to work. So before I go inside and shower, I got home. I am actually gonna water some of my garden. I have four areas in my garden that are not attached to the sprinkler system that my husband built me. My husband built me last year a fantastic watering system in my raised beds. But I have taken liberties to expand the garden. And my husband's in school. He actually should be graduating in three weeks from today, actually two and a half weeks from today. So hopefully he'll have more time to devote to doing things <laughs> around the homestead for me. But um, currently he just doesn't have time, which I totally understand. He needs to focus on school. And so I get to hand water, which is fine. I actually really enjoy hand watering. I find it very relaxing and therapeutic. Now one area I'm gonna flip you around and show you. These are sweet potato slips that I planted out in these straw bales last week, a week ago from today. And you'll see that video before you see this video. And some of them have died. See, that one's very limp. That one's completely dead. That one's coming back. And then some of them are definitely coming back and looking pretty good. But honestly, I am not super happy with the quality. So what I did is I called them the day after I planted, two days after I planted them because I got off work after they closed because I think they're an East Coast company. 
and they said they would refund me my money if they don't survive. And I told them, awesome, I really appreciate that, but I don't want my money back. I want my sweet potatoes. <laughs> I want them to grow into sweet potatoes. I started some of my own slips and those slips look so healthy and I wasn't, I was kind of like doubting my ability to start my own sweet potato slips. So that's why I went ahead and purchased these ones. And to be quite frank, my homegrown sweet potato slips are a hundred times better so far than the ones I bought. Now the proof is in the pudding when it actually comes to harvest time, but I'm really hoping they grow. So all that to say, I'm out here watering my sweet potato garden because that is not on the irrigation system and these are straw bales so they really really need good watering and part of it is keeping these sweet potato slips alive is to keep them watered and hopefully you guys will remind me to come out and turn the water off because I've been known to forget about the water and it's on for way too long. In this jungly bed I've got a couple volunteer lettuces and this is one here and I just pulled one up there and I was going to go give those to the chickens as a snack right before I head inside but when I pulled this up that is a massive slug. That is what we deal with in the Pacific Northwest. They're terrible. So bad that the chickens don't even want to eat them. I've actually been out here puttering around my garden for about an hour, so that's usually why I go home inside and shower first before I come out here. But it's kind of warm, and so I definitely want to get those plants watered. But I figured while I was out here, I'm going to go ahead and harvest some green onions because we're going to have that teriyaki chicken, and I think fresh green onions chopped in to on top of it is going to be delicious. All right, so I'm comfy. I have my sweats on, my robe on, and my hair up in a bun. And this is what I like to do after work. I like to get nice and cozy. We're gonna get the rest of dinner going. I just have some sticky rice here. I've got about three cups. We're gonna put that in the Instapot. We're gonna put about four cups of water in there. Sometimes I wash my rice, sometimes I don't. Today I'm not. And just a little bit of salt. Make sure you season everything when you're cooking. That's one tip to really make sure you're cooking is kind of to the next level is season everything. We're just gonna put the vent on close and set it for five minutes. If you guys haven't bought an Instapot yet, which most people have, go buy yourself an Instapot. I'll leave a link down below. I just discovered making full meals in the Instapot. I've been using my Instapot for years, but I've been using it as like a one thing ingredient, like if that makes sense. I've been doing like dried beans in it, rice, chicken broth, but I just discovered recipes where I can cook an entire meal in my Instapot and I'm gonna be showing you a bunch of those recipes. It's so amazingly easy. I can't believe how easy it's been to learn how to use this as a one pot meal cooker. That doesn't sound right, but really a one pot wonder because I have made, I've got um, jambalaya that I can do all in here. I've got a couple pasta recipes where I just literally throw everything in, turn it on and go. This is the meat we took out earlier this morning. And I'm gonna just open this up and pour the whole contents into this baking dish. And all I'm gonna do is take a fork and just kind of lay them one layer thin. So this chicken has basically been marinating in this sauce all day, which is exactly what I want. I used to wonder why people would make freezer meals where they would just marinate chicken because it really doesn't take that much time to do it. Then I realized it's because if you thaw it early in the day and it sits marinating all day, then you save yourself a ton of time. You don't have to think in the morning to marinate the chicken or anything like that. It's just already going and ready for you. So the oven is not preheated. I don't really care. I'm just gonna throw this in there and we're gonna let that go for, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes or so. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you guys that is like super big news in our family is that let's get these onions chopping and then I'll tell you. I'm actually going to cut this much off the bottoms and I'm gonna go and replant these outside because you should be able to grow more onions from your grown onions. You can do this with store-bought onions as well. Going back to the big news, the big news in the family is we are buying an electric dog fence. When I got to work after the incident this morning that you guys witnessed with me chasing my dogs, I texted my husband and I said, buy an electric dog fence. We've been kind of talking about it back and forth for a while now. When we first bought the property, we were like, we're not gonna spend the money on a dog electric fence when we're going to be putting in a real fence. But we couldn't afford to put it in that last year. And then now with how lumber prices are, we really can't afford it. It's not something that we're gonna be able to do this year either. And so 
I, I'm just done chasing the dogs when they chase bunnies or when they just decide not to listen anymore. I think I said this morning we were gonna have broccoli, but I realized we don't have any broccoli, so we are gonna have cauliflower. You might be asking yourself, why is she cooking two heads of broccoli, three cups of rice, a whole pan of chicken, when it's just two people in this house? And that's because I don't cook every day. This is the first time I've cooked anything in six days. We don't eat out very often. This is just a little bit of olive oil. We eat out maybe once a month, and the rest of the time we eat home-cooked food. Uh, I don't buy those freezer meals. We don't eat frozen pizza. We don't eat anything like that. Everything is cooked from scratch, and the only way I can do that is by cooking huge batches or regular sized batches that you would cook for a whole family. I don't know why I'm mixing that yet. I haven't put any seasonings on it. Oh, here's inside my cupboard. <laughs> I do have a tour of this cupboard if you wanna see that. Um, this is just some garlic. And with me working full time, my husband working full time, my husband is actually in school full time. I just don't have the time to cook every meal from scratch every day. But we eat every meal from scratch and the only way I can do that is by cooking a portion that would be for like six people and then we eat that for lunches and dinners. This is gochugaru, which is a Korean red pepper flake that is incredible. I just found this stuff about six months ago. If you watch June from Delish, if you don't, you should go watch over there. She does, she's hilarious, she's a cook, and she just makes really good videos. But her and her boyfriend use gochugaru on everything, and it's a sweet red chili pepper that it does have a teeny bit of heat, but really not that much heat at all. It's so good. And here's some salt. I would normally put black pepper on this too, but I don't have any that I have ground, and I don't feel like using the pepper grinder, so. We just aren't gonna put black pepper on here today. All I'm gonna do is mix this up. So in less than five minutes, dinner is done. And I only have like three dishes. I have the cutting board, the knife, this, whatever is left over will just be thrown in the fridge, a mason jar that I measured the rice with, and that's about it. Couldn't be easier than that. That's why I do this. So if you wanna actually watch the freezer video, I have a whole, I have two freezer cooking videos up. I'll link them up above and I'll link them down below in the description if you wanna watch those. I could cook the cauliflower in the same oven as the chicken at 400, but I'm pretty lucky this house came with this really cool oven that has two ovens in one. So I am actually gonna cook that cauliflower at 425. But if I wasn't lucky enough to have this oven, I would just throw the cauliflower in the same oven as the chicken. So I'm now outside. I've got a nice big cup of water. It was horrible not having my water today. I really, really missed not having my water at work today. But what we're gonna do is I got my two dogs out here and they should be well behaved because now that it's the end of the day, they're gonna be a little bit tired. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend some time in the comment section with you guys and just hang out there for a while while we wait for dinner to cook. All right, let's check on the chicken. What you're looking for is the chicken just to be pull apart tender and I just have some tongs and I can just gently break them apart and it's fall apart tender. I had the oven turned completely off now because I don't know what time my husband's gonna be home. So I'll just leave this staying warm in the oven. Oh yeah, that looks really roasty toasty. This looks perfect. I'm gonna put this, actually I'm not gonna put that back in the oven because that will overcook. And we'll just turn the ovens off. This is Tibro and that little stinker down there that's Orbit. Tibro is Orbit spelled backwards and Tibro is the little brother. Oh, excuse you. So my husband just came out here and he's gonna work on his laptop out here with me, which is so sweet because that's the first time we've ever sat out here since we've owned this house. Or yeah, it is the first time we've been out here. Well, it's the first time we've actually like- We've passed through this area. I know. <laughs> Passing through and sitting and kind of enjoying it and it, on an evening are two different things. So kind of warms my heart. I think I'm gonna end this video here. I'm just sitting here replying to comments and hanging out with you guys. And I just wanna say a huge thank you because I'm pretty blown away by your guys' kind words. It's so incredibly touching and humbling, the kind words that I'm reading, and I just can't believe it. So I just wanna say thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, go ahead and subscribe or watch a few videos that will pop up right here. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. So I already ended this video and I may have been in bed watching Real Housewives of New York, guilty pleasure.
Anyone else watch Real Housewives or is it just me? <laughs> oh, my husband makes so much fun of me for it. Oh, there's a bunny. Good thing I scared it. And why I'm out here is because my coworker asked me if she could have some of my rhubarb and I said yes. And I said, you have to text me and remind me to bring rhubarb because I will forget. And I was in bed and I forgot to bring the rhubarb. So let's get some rhubarb. I've got a whole bunch of rhubarb here, enough for her to make a pie, probably a little bit extra. So once again, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a great day and for reals, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.